Hey everybody, this is iLad, and uh, just for a little change of pace here on my channel, I thought we'd try doing a little mini-series, The Game Beholder. <laughs> well, let's talk to the wife, see what she thinks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here's a candy. <laughs> yeah, she worries, you know. She's gonna worry. And sometimes she's right, too. My daughter is sick. Interesting. I played through this part of the storyline before. I know how this turns out. <laughs> At least, I know how it turned out last time. I'm determined I'm going to do better this time. Uh, but, yeah. Everyone is sick these days, which means medicine is hard to come by. Doctors are not uh, not easy to get to work for you. All that kind of stuff. <laughs> Oi. Stupid glasses. Anyway. See if this guy's got anything for me. Doop, 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 doop. And chocolate. Not really anything I need. Now, oh, oh well. Let's see what we got going on here. Okay, so chocolate isn't going to work as candy. That's a little frustrating. <laughs> uh, this is a smart girl, though. <laughs> All right, let's see what he's got to say. Hmm. No oh, good grief. Dude, don't you have enough on your plate already? Fine. If your sister dies because I can't pay for a doctor, it's going to be on your head. Alright, so uh, let's, uh, let's spy on the neighbors a little bit, shall we? Yeah, nothing again. Don't know what I thought I might see, considering how um, his girls just moved in. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Okay, let's see what we got going on down here. All right, Speck. Let's see what you can do for my little girl. Oh, Speck. Hey, Speck. Quit watching TV. My little girl's dying. Come on, man. Step up. Be a doctor. Uh, there's something else needs doing. Always something. All right, we'll get to it. <laughs> it's a promising candidate. Mm. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'll go find your whiskey. Hmm, okay, well. Speck is out, and uh, the girl's out. So let's install a little, um, little snoopy snoop. 
preferably before the doctor who's trying to save my little girl's life catches me in here. Thank you. Very good. <laughs> Guess he's got to ponder his diagnosis a little bit. Well, I could move the glasses storyline farther ahead if I just had some candy. But in the absence of that, I guess I'll snoop on some more people. Yeah, good, good, good. Hurry dude, hurry dude, hurry dude. Run. Alright, and she smokes a pipe. Everyone seems to smoke a pipe. Interesting. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Yep. If, uh, if there's a criticism that I have about this game, uh, there's a couple. It's not a perfect game, but one would be I wish the uh, I wish these storylines were a little more randomly assigned. Um, so far as I can tell, everything that happens, uh, you know, minus minus my choices, right? Like if I play the same way every game, the same things are going to happen to me every game. Um, it'd be, it'd be kind of cool if there were more random events. And there may be, I just, so far I haven't been able to tell that there are. Like, everything's going pretty, pretty much according to the last time I played through. The difference being, I'm making some different choices. Things so far are actually going a little better for me. A lot of that's just because I know how to play. Um... Mm-hmm. Well, ten thousand dollars, and this is uh, this is what happened on my first playthrough. I couldn't raise the money in time, and it goes downhill pretty quickly after that. Bad, bad, bad things happen, which I won't spoil. You should buy the game and play it for yourself and find out. Really, <laughs> it is a fun game. You know, it's it's not perfect. There's a couple little things, but it's definitely a fun game. tell you one thing it needs is save slots I wish I could save the game right here right and then come back to this very moment in time but all the saves as far as I can tell are handled automatically um, which gives me very little control and it's entirely possible easy possibly even likely to end up with a save game that cannot be successful like where you're you're doomed like you know no matter what you do after that point but uh in this way i guess what it is it's kind of like a roguelike in that if you if you completely botch everything you've really just got to start over you can't go back to a specific save point uh in some ways you know of course that kind of ups the excitement of it and I can't fault the developers too hard for, um, for not really wanting to give us that. But at the same time, because the story is set, not randomly generated, the fact that you do have to start all over every time just kind of... It just kind of takes away from some of the fun of it. Like, roguelikes are successful because you're not crawling through the same dungeon every time. Like, yeah, you got to start all over, but it's a new experience, too. Yeah, that's, that's maybe the biggest shortcoming this game has. It's a combination of no save slots and no randomly generated content. As far as I know.
Haven't played all the way through. Maybe speaking from ignorance. But I've played enough that I feel pretty good about both those uh, both those comments. Anyway, so obviously uh, one thing that I'm trying to accomplish here is earning all kinds of money because I've got to raise 10,000 bucks, don't I? Hmm. Yeah, um, just for a, for a tip for you guys, the most economical way of doing this is to get as much information together as possible because it's not there's not a set fee per piece of information each piece that you add each additional piece past the first uh, seems to raise the overall value so it's not linear it's like um, it scales up as you as you add more and more pieces of information so if you if you submit individual pieces each one by itself is worth I think two hundred and fifty dollars um, but as you, if you group them together, then you're going to end up with an average value of, of a good bit more than that. So that's the way to go. I didn't, I didn't do the greatest job of that this playthrough. My last playthrough, I didn't do it at all. Like I wanted money right away, so I reported everything as soon as I found it out, and I lost a lot of value that way. So uh, don't make that mistake. Anywho. Oh yeah, I've got to get that girl's booze too. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, you pervert. <laughs> Move on. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nothing of note there. there they seem like a really boring family but that does kind of raise the question of why he's cleaning a gun on a regular basis oh, maybe something's in here She's coming. Oh, hello. Okay, there's something. Very nice. Ah, uh, she went downstairs. All right. That's cool. Finish my search. Hopefully, get to finish. Okay, very nice, very nice. Did I do this one already? Yeah. Alright, well, 
That's that for that apartment, I suppose. Hmm. Oh yeah, okay. So maybe I'll have candy this time. That would be nice. Be helpful. Can I can I useful? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> uh. Okay then. So where am I going to get candy to bribe my daughter to tell me a piece of information I really need? I wonder how many things I've been asked for I could actually find in my own apartment. <laughs> okay. Candy. All right. Very cool. It's about dang time. All right. So, uh, what do you want? I wonder. Talk to you after I finish searching. Or not. <laughs> Okay, sell, 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 sell. Yeah, not the candy. Now hopefully I won't need the duck later either. That could get embarrassing. Okay, looks like the doctor has some news for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, more money. Of course, my son needs m money too. Oh, your family's trouble, and and expensive. Lots of trouble, lots of expensive. Well then. All right. So now, what do you want? <laughs> hmm. So now I've got to buy an apple, an illegal contraband apple, the um, forbidden fruit, as it were. Jeez. 
I always want the stuff. Money for bills, money for medicine, money for apples, money for tuition. Like, come on, man. You're not made of money. I'm just trying to work an honest job spying on my neighbors for the government. I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> what a random thing to report. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oops. Okay. All right, bills paid. Ah. How am I supposed to get in there and like plant cameras and stuff if y'all are always home? Always home. On the other hand, I am long overdue for spying on the doctor, so. Oh, somebody's crying. Highly, highly illegal. Miss Rennick? I could turn you into the police for that. Shedding tears. I'm not going to make it, am I? Run. Nope. Ah, crap. <laughs> uh, sorry, buddy. <laughs> it's okay. I'm going to have the police haul you away eventually anyway, right? <laughs> Why is she there? That doesn't seem right. I don't think I've ever seen anybody pay somebody else a visit before. Why is she in that apartment? That's so weird. Is that normal?
It's really bizarre. I don't think I've seen anyone go anywhere except their own apartment and the basement rooms. Huh. Oh, I have an explanation for that. Oh well. Um, okay, so I guess we will kind of leave it here. I know not a lot happened. Um, I did manage to get medicine for my daughter. I guess we'll pick up there next time, and I hope you'll stop in. Have a watch. Thank you guys for watching this one. Bye-bye. <laughs>